To get a workspace, you first need to have a user account. If you already have a London Lives user account, you don't need to sign up again. You can just log in with the same account details. If you don't have a London Lives account, just fill in the registration form to sign up for a new account. All documents, trials, ordinary accounts, advertisements, etc., with a unique reference number, can be saved to your workspace, as can search results. Any document that can be added to the workspace will have an Actions link in the yellow header box at the top of the page. Once you're logged into your account, you'll be able to see an Add to Workspace link in the header box. Simply click on the link to add that document to your workspace. If you've already saved that particular document to your workspace, the link will be replaced by the message, This item is in your workspace. You can save search queries to your workspace for future reference by simply clicking on the Add This Search to Your Workspace link in the yellow header box at the top of the search results list. You can also save individual items in the search results list to the workspace. For each item you want to add to the workspace, tick the box to the left-hand side of the search result and then select the Add to Workspace button at the bottom of the page. If you want to remove saved items, navigate to the workspace, tick the box to the left-hand side of each item you want to remove, and press the Remove button at the bottom of the page. When you save a large number of items to the workspace, it can soon become chaotic. You can easily organize the items in your workspace by putting them into folders. To put items into a new folder, tick the box to the left-hand side of each item you want to add to the folder. Type a name for your folder in the box labeled Move Selected Items to a New Folder near the bottom of the page. Folder names must be 4 to 24 characters long, contain no spaces, and no symbol characters. And finally, click on the Add to New Folder button next to the box. To put items into an existing folder, Tick the box to the left-hand side of each item you want to add to the folder. Select the folder you want to add them to from the drop-down list next to Move Selected Items to an Existing Folder, and click on the Move to Folder button next to the drop-down list. Similarly, you can remove items from your workspace by selecting the items you want to discard and selecting the Remove from Workspace button. Once you navigate to your folders, you have further similar options to remove items from the folders, remove them from the workspace, or move them to a new folder. You can also add comments to the items in your workspace and folders, and to the folders themselves, by using the Add Comments links. The Export function enables you to transfer items in your workspace to external software for further analysis or to share with colleagues or students. The information exported is as follows. For trials and similar documents, this includes the reference number and the title of the page. For trials, this will include the defendant's names, offense, and session date. And for searches, the precise terms of the search query. Any comments you've associated with the item to be exported will also be included, although folder-level comments will not. If you need more sophisticated export functions, take a look at our Guide to Using Zotero. To export items in your workspace or in a folder, first click on the Export link at the bottom of the page. You will then be prompted by your browser to save or open the file. The precise nature of the prompt will vary depending on your browser and its settings. We recommend using Save. This will normally save the file as an XML extension. You then have a number of options for working with the file. You can open the file in Microsoft Excel or Word. Ignore any warning that the file content is not the same as the file extension. And then use Save As to create a new worksheet or document or copy and paste it into another document. If you open the file in Open Office, it will open in Writer, and you can copy and paste the table from there into a Calc spreadsheet. You can also import into Microsoft Access. You may need to rename the file extension to HTML or TXT for this to work correctly. Or you can open it in a text editor and copy the entire contents and paste it into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. For display as an HTML formatted table in a web page, open the file in a text editor 
and simply copy the contents and paste into an HTML file. 